Right now at six, down it goes. An apartment building where an explosion killed a tenant last week goes up in smoke. Police say Benjamin Morrow was making explosives when the blast happened. Today's burn was supposed to destroy chemicals that were still inside. Pete Cervakis joins us live from Beaver Dam with more on this operation. Quite intense, Pete. Well, firefighters say that burn was successful. The fire destroyed all the chemicals, homemade explosives, as police called them, that were left in the apartment. In the meantime, that apartment building, as you can see behind us tonight, is now just rubble. The burn produced extreme heat, which led to the thermal destruction of the materials as planned. Firefighters lit the blaze just after 10 a.m. Large metal shipping containers were stacked up to shield the other five buildings in this apartment complex from the heat. The shipping containers saved the day. The fire burned for about two hours. The fire chief says the temperature peaked around 1600 degrees. It looks like a little more smoke in the car. Yeah. Across a closed Spring Street, neighbors watched the controlled burn. I think it's terrible. It, it, it's. It gives you shivers to see this going. Bill Knoll hurts for the 30 or so tenants of the building now left with no home. Some of them gathered nearby to watch their possessions go up in smoke. I hope that they can all uh, regroup and find a new home. Now, the fire chief says this debris is going to continue to smoke for several days. We should mention only about half of those displaced tenants had renter's insurance. Horicon Bank here in Dodge County is collecting donations for all the residents of apartment building 109. In the meantime, the residents from the five other apartment buildings in the same complex had to be evacuated ahead of the controlled burn tonight. They are still waiting to go home pending air testing in this area by the EPA. Live in Beaver Dam, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. And those residents have put up with a lot for the last couple of weeks. All right, Pete, thanks.